Hi, I'm Sarah from Homespun Childhood. I am a teacher turned homeschooling mom of three. And today I'm gonna share with you a walk through Kate Snow's Kindergarten Math with Confidence. Kate Snow is well known in the homeschool community. She has a background in mathematics and education and is experienced with homeschooling as well. And so she is a great resource for all things math. She does have curriculum reviews for other programs on her website. And she recently started publishing her own curriculum. This year they are about to release level two. So this is an option if you have kids who are in first grade right now um, and below because she's releasing one grade level each year. So. Right now, kindergarten, first grade are available, and second grade is about to be available. Okay, so some of you might know Kate Snow from Math Facts That Stick. There's subtraction and addition and multiplication, all those fact books, and those are a great resource for learning um, facts with lots of games. I'm gonna share a review of her kindergarten math with confidence. I have experience teaching with kindergarten math with confidence with dimension Singapore dimensions and I'm going to also do a walkthrough of the new primary 2022 kindergarten which I have not used but we've used their first grade um, as a classroom teacher I used a variety of programs I used hardcore math I used um, everyday math I've used a bunch of different things and so Today, I'm sharing based off of my professional teaching experience and also my homeschool experience using programs like Singapore and this. I do not have experience with other homeschool math curricula like um, Math UC and Right Start and all of those. All right, let's jump into this. So the Math with Confidence program is very straightforward. It is no frills. It is written for a parent and it is comprehensive. The two components of the curricula are your instructor guide and your student workbook. Let's look at the instructor guide first. So this is the Math with Confidence instructor guide. It has a table of contents. These are the different topics you will learn in kindergarten math. We go through how to use this book and then the book is divided into these different units numbers to 10, shapes, directions, and patterns, comparing numbers to 10, addition, numbers to 20, measurement, subtraction, numbers to 100, and time. Each unit is then broken down into weeks. There are four weeks for most of the units. Some of them have only a couple, like addition um, and measurement have less than four. And then each week is broken into roughly five lessons. There are four lessons and then a like extension lesson. So this would work if you're doing a, you know, four or five day a week homeschool. Okay, just a note about the different weeks. The weeks are cumulative, they keep going. So it's not one week within, you know, week one, week two, week three, week four of each unit. They go all the way through the end of the program. So this curricula this curriculum is designed to go about 32 weeks. The introduction goes through the program, Math with Confidence, how to use this book, you know, some ideas for if your child is ready for the book, if you're using it with a younger child, if you're using this book after her preschool math at home book. If you have a preschool student, I highly recommend her preschool math at home. It's not a curriculum, but it has a lot of great activities to help build up math readiness. And then it has a little overview. We go into the units and the weeks. And her weeks, we have a little bit of an overview. We have the teaching the math with the confidence, so some background information for the instructor. We have household materials you'll need for the week. This is a program that relies on things you already have around the house. There are not many manipulatives that you need to purchase for it. And then weaving math into everyday life and a math book of the week. This is a really nice feature of all of um, Kate Snow's programs is that they include a math book for every topic or they include a title for a math book for every topic. Then we have the lessons that all have some bold text for what you are to say. This is a scripted program if necessary. The italics then have the answers and then the gray highlighted part explains the information. Each lesson is broken up into a review and warm up. 
hands-on activity, and then workbook page. The workbook is very straightforward. We'll look at that in a minute. Most of these lessons are developed um, to last about 15 minutes. It talks a little bit about the intention span of your average kindergarten student. It also explains that the unit one lessons are sh really short to get your student into the rhythm and routine. There are some little checkpoints throughout, kind of, you know, the checkpoints are divided into these three different parts, what to expect at the end of a unit. These are the skills that your child should be able to do at the end of this unit. Some questions about if your child is ready to move on to the next unit, and then what to do if your child needs more practice. This is a nice kind of gauge for the homeschool parent. Talks a little bit about scheduling and the materials that you're going to need. How to create your own math kit. So it talks about the different materials you might want to gather. So we need 100 types of counters, 100 items for counting. We need pattern blocks. If you do not want to purchase pattern blocks, they have a black line master that you can just print out some little blocks on cardstock. And then again, um, some coins and index cards. All right, let's look at unit one. We begin every chapter the same way. We have an overview about what you're going to be working on. We have a breakdown of the different weeks and we have a little summary of what your child will learn. We then move into week one with an overview of the week, the different lessons that are in week one, the background information for you, the teacher, the household items you'll need, and then some ideas for weaving math into everyday life and a book of the week. So if you notice, there are four lessons in week one, and then this weaving math into everyday life and the math book of the week are your like bonus lesson. So you could do that on your fifth day. Then we move into the lessons. We have our activity and the workbook pages, the purpose and the materials. We have the introduction. It's scripted with an answer. We have an activity. These are all very hands-on activities using things mostly found around your house. And then we have a description of the workbook page. The workbook pages are very simple and straightforward. We will look at that in just a minute. And then each lesson follows the same progression. Each lesson then follows the same progression. There is an answer key for the workbook, which for the kindergarten level is probably, you know, not needed, but as the grade levels advance, it might be more helpful for the parent. So moving through these different lessons, let's look at the end of unit one. So we have week four, again, more of the lessons. All of the lessons are following the same format. There are lots of games throughout here. And here is our unit one checkpoint. What to expect at the end of one, unit one. And then it's a little bit of information about, about what your child should be able to do. And then is your child ready to move on? All right, so here we are in unit two on shapes. Again, we have our overview, what your child will learn. We have the information about the specific week. So sorting and classifying, how are math, sorting and geometry related, the household items you're gonna need, weaving it into everyday life, and your book. And again, a lot of these lessons are using household materials like spoons or whatever it is you may have. Okay, beginning to talk about sides and angles. We have making triangles in different shapes out of straws, and different household materials. Let's look at a unit towards the end. This is unit eight on subtraction. It goes over the overview, take away subtraction, take apart subtraction and subtraction practice, what your child will learn the background behind it and why you're teaching it this way, three ways to use subtraction. It talks about the takeaway, the take apart, and the comparison model. Introduces subtraction. You have a review and warm up to playing addition war. You have your activity. 
using hands-on concrete items. You have your workbook pages. I'm adding in information now about the minus sign. Still using a lot of concrete items. Your workbook pages start to bring in you know, the pictorial representation, different ways to understand subtraction, using the 10 frame, subtraction war, just lots of games. This is just a very solid kindergarten curriculum. It's no fuss, it's no frills, but it is rooted in best practices in math and math research and written with the homeschool parent in mind. A little craft project here. Okay. At the end of the book, we have some a book list, the scope and sequence. We have materials list, and then we have some black line masters. Let's look at the workbook. The workbook is very straightforward. It is very simple. There is one page per lesson. This is meant just to give your child some workbook practice and some pictorial representation. So one page per lesson means this is your page for lesson 1.1 and the back is another lesson. Lots of practice tracing numbers. I like that the number practice goes all the way throughout. So we're really gonna work on, you know, having nice number formation all the way throughout. Okay, so that is Math with Confidence. I think this is a great program for many homeschool families. If you are overwhelmed with the idea of teaching math if you have a kid who just needs you know straightforward hands-on let's bring in some books this is really a great option it does not have as many components as some other programs i'm going to do a walkthrough of the primary kindergarten 2022 in a separate video so you can see the two and kind of compare them that way if you would like but not having all the extra bells and whistles does not make this you know not a good program. This is still a solid program. It's just a different approach of, you know, the teaching for the parent and then the student learning. I really like this program for beginning homeschoolers. I like this program for parents who just need to get it out and do the math. It's literally open and go. You don't need that many materials. So I highly recommend Kate Snow's program. If you would like to know more about Kate Snow, she does have a website. I'll link that below. And she's been on the Homeschool Sisters podcast several times. And I have really enjoyed listening to her talk about math and how she views math through those programs. And I will also link those below and on a blog post on my website. So I hope you found this helpful. With Confidence is available for grades kindergarten and first grade. And second grade will be available for the upcoming school year. All right. Have a good one, everyone.